The best way to make your app more accessible is through testing. An accessibility scanner is one of the tools that can help with your testing flow. In this episode, we'll talk about what scanner is, what it looks for, and how to use it for testing your own apps. Scanner is an Android app that scans the screens in your app to provide suggestions on how to improve the accessibility of your app. Scanner was built to allow everybody, not just engineers, the ability to audit an app for accessibility issues and propose potential solutions. Under the hood, Scanner uses the accessibility test framework and provides specific suggestions after looking at features such as content labels, touch target size, clickable items, and color contrast for text and images. Let's start by setting up Scanner on an Android device. Scanner is available for devices running Android 6 and above, and you can download it from Google Play. Once the app is downloaded, you need to enable the Scanner accessibility service through the Settings app. Depending on which Android device you're running and what Android version is running on the device, the steps to enable the service may vary. However, if you open the Scanner app on your device, it will guide you through the appropriate steps. Now that we've set up Scanner Accessibility Service on the device, let's use it to scan for potential issues in the app. Here, we've opened our favorite task tracking app in dark mode. And you'll notice that there is an Accessibility Scanner floating action button displayed over the app. Using Scanner, we can either snapshot a single screen of the app or record a workflow within the app that involves multiple screens. When we record a workflow in our app, Scanner records a series of snapshots and analyzes the elements on each snapshot. For this video, let's go through the process of taking a single snapshot for Scanner to analyze. In the Task Tracker app, let's take a snapshot of the screen that lets users view the details of a task. Once we've taken a snapshot, Scanner displays the results of the scan with possible areas of improvement outlined in orange rectangles. Here, Scanner has flagged a few elements. For each element outlined in orange, we can click on the element to see why the element was flagged. Let's dig into the results to learn more. One of the elements that has been flagged is the star button. After clicking on the star button, we see that Scanner suggests making the touch target of this clickable item larger. Scanner also gives further information about the current size of the element and the recommended touch target size for the element. Next, let's look at why the edit button has been flagged. Clicking on the element, we see that it's missing a label. The suggestion regarding the missing label is to add an item label or a content description in order for the element to be readable by screen readers. The last suggestion flags the color contrast of the back button on the top nav bar. When Scanner detects a possible color contrast issue, you can tap into the result to experiment with the foreground and background colors. Here on the left side, we see the contrast ratio that is currently detected and a suggested contrast ratio for the element. And on the right side, we have the ability to see what the contrast ratio would be if a different foreground and background color were selected. You've seen how Scanner can be a useful tool to automate testing for accessibility. However, it's important to remember that it should not replace manual testing. For example, if any accessibility information is missing entirely, Scanner may not be able to know that something should have been flagged. The best way to test the accessibility of your apps is by working with actual users and by using accessibility services such as TalkBack and Switch Access. To sum things up, Scanner is an Android app that can help you improve the usability of your app for all users. Scanner scans for issues based on snapshots taken in an app. Scanner can provide suggestions for improvement based on auditing features such as content labels, touch target size, clickable items, and color contrast for texts and images. And lastly, while Scanner is helpful in surfacing potential accessibility issues in an Android app, it should not be a replacement for manual testing. Always be sure that manual testing is part of your accessibility testing workflow. Thanks for tuning in, and look for more accessibility tips coming your way.